All right, here's my 2007 Porsche Cayman. Uh, it needs an oil change, so I'm gonna kind of go over all that for you today. Go over all the parts you need, uh, how to do it, and uh, we'll get this thing running on some fresh oil. Uh, but first, let's go over all the tools we're gonna need. All right, here's all the tools you're gonna need in order to change the oil in the Porsche. Um, so starting off, we have our Mobile One Zero W40 full synthetic motor oil. I bought this off Amazon. Uh, the link's going to be down in the description of where I bought it. Um, you're going to need, uh, in the owner's manual, it says you're going to need um, 7.5 liters, and that equals out to be about 7.9 or 8 quarts. So make sure you buy enough of this. That's quite a bit, so make sure you buy enough. Um, the next thing we have right here is a K&N oil filter. I decided to go with K&N. I just like their products. Um, I bought this off Amazon as well. Make sure um, you get the right one. This part number is PS-7011, and then it should come with the filter itself and the uh, rubber gasket. Um, and then to change the oil filter, you're going to need the oil filter wrench. I bought this off Amazon as well. Like I said, link's going to be in the description. Uh, this is a 74 millimeter one. Uh, just nice and snug. You're not going to strip anything, and it, it just works. Um, you're going to need a new crush washer. A little teeny piece. I got a Porsche brand one, um, and just make sure you replace that every time. Um, we also have the 3 8 inch socket wrench um, with a little extension, and then you have an Allen key uh, socket, and it's 8 millimeter Allen key. That's for the oil drain plug. Make sure you have that. Uh, and if you have the socket version, you can make sure you get the right foot pounds. Um, I don't have a torque wrench, uh, so I'll just make sure it's nice and snug, but the specs for that are 37 foot-pounds. So if you do have a torque wrench, great, do it for 37 foot-pounds. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we have the oil catch pan. Make sure it's a nice big one, uh, since there's going to be about 8 quarts of oil coming out. Um, you don't want to be over overflowing onto your garage floor or onto your driveway. Uh, but those are all the parts you need. Um, oh, we also need a jack to jack the car up, but that's somewhere else. Um, so all that and let's go over to the car and change the oil. Right, first step in the oil change is you're going to have to jack up the car. And If you're not familiar with uh, the Caymans, um, the jack point is right in front of the rear wheel. So it's going to be right under here. And I'll try to get a close up of that and I'll show it to you. Um, but basically you want to put the jack onto that jack point, jack it up. Um, and then in my case I don't have little wheel ramps. If you, in, in a perfect world you'd have wheel ramps, you'd wheel the car up and it'd be done. I don't have those. So I have just these wooden blocks. I'll jack the car up, put them underneath the tires, uh, put the car back down onto the wooden blocks. Um, so let's do that right now. There you go, there's the first side, then we go to the other side and, and do that one. Okay, so I'm still on the passenger side of the car. Um, I have my camera set up on the driver's side of the car just so you can see what I'm doing. So here I have the eight millimeter uh, socket with the socket wrench, um, my oil drain uh, pan going, and then here, uh, hopefully you can see it, right here is the drain plug. So that's what we're gonna be loosening first. So let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be pretty snug. There it goes. So once you get it going, you can take the socket wrench off and kind of get it going with your fingers. Should be uh, pretty easy to loosen. You're going to get oil on your fingers no matter what. Let's see here. There it goes. Just make sure you drain all the oil out. All right, here is the oil drain plug, as you can see. Um, here's the old crush washer. Make sure you take that off, throw it away, open your new one, and put it on there. 
and then we'll go back under the car to uh, put the plug back in. All right, we've been letting it drain for about five to eight minutes now. Um, and so we're just gonna go ahead and put the plug back in. Remember, we got the new crush washer on there. Um, and just go ahead, make sure you screw it in properly. You don't wanna cross thread this. Um, lose all your oil, here we go. Do that. And then, uh, let me, uh, one second. Okay, remember you want it to be 37 foot-pounds. Um, I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just going to tighten it to about what it was when I loosened it. And then I'll just uh, I'll go to the store and make sure I buy a uh, torque wrench, and I'll double-check it later. So there we go. The new crush washer's in there. It's all sealed up. Next, we got the oil filter. Um, so the oil filter, I don't know if you can see, the oil filter's right here this big black canister right here um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that 74 millimeter um, oil filter wrench we're gonna take this canister off dump the oil in here change out the filter the rubber gasket put it back on and uh, then we should be pretty good to you know fill it with fresh oil okay now I'm uh, back from the um, the back side of the car it's easier to get to the oil filter this way uh, make sure you rearrange your catch pan then you have your 74 millimeter oil socket on there, oil uh, filter socket. And then you just want to make sure it gets a nice clean snug fit on there. And then just loosen it. And once you get it loose enough, you should be able to do it by hand, which should be uh, coming up here soon. There we go. Now, a bunch of oil is going to come out, so prepare yourself. All right, make sure you dump all that old oil out of there. You can leave it in there for a minute and let it all drain out. So while the, uh, the canister drains, let's go ahead and take the filter off and set it down into our catch pan. Let's just loosen it up and it drops right off. There it is. So we'll set that down in there. And uh, this is gonna continue to drip just for the next couple minutes, uh, but that's fine because we need to go get the new filter. Okay, so we got our oil filter, our new one, and then we have our old oil canister we just took off the car. Um, so we're going to open this up. All right, so there's the filter, as you can see. Pretty easy. We'll set that right here for now. Um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to change this O-ring, this rubber O-ring. So there's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little rubber O-ring on here. Uh, you may need to get a screwdriver to kind of help you uh, take that off, which I may need to go do. Let me, uh, let me go get a screwdriver. I'll we'll refill. Just one second. There we go. See that? Comes right off. That's the old one. You're going to have to throw that out. Um, let me set this down. Here's the new one. I'm just going to go ahead and ring on the new one. Make sure to change that out every time. And your filter should just come with one. So there we go. We got that. Now we're just going to drop the new filter in there. Just like that. And now we'll go back under the car. All right, so here we are back under the car. We got our uh, um, oil filter canister here with the brand new oil filter, and we're just gonna screw it right back on. All right, now just tighten it till it stops going, and it'll be nice and snug. We wanna make sure we take off uh, the little um, 74 millimeter Oil cartridge wrench. It may get stuck on there just because it was a little dirty before. There we go. And now we're good. All right, so now we're going to fill it up with oil. Remember at the beginning, we're going to need about 7.9 to 8 quarts. Um, 
side right here. Take that off. Now we'll start filling. All right. Um, All right, so there's seven uh, quarts. I know it said it needed about 7.9 or eight quarts, but we're gonna put seven in, we're gonna turn on the car, see what the oil level's at, and then we'll add uh, to get it just right. All right, so we're inside the car. Let's check the oil levels uh, by turning on the car, just to get the oil all pumped out and fill the oil filter and everything like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the function um, Little arm right here, push it in to go back. Let's see, we'll go through all the stuff, go through all the stuff, go to oil. Oh, car's gotta be off. Turn the car off, turn the electricity back on. Oh, we gotta wait 30 minutes. All right, so we're gonna check the oil level. It's been about 30 minutes. That's how long it said that it needed to take. I'll turn the electricity on. We'll see. All right, it's right in the middle. It look, even looks like I can add a little bit more. Um, so right now we're at seven quarts, so it looks like I can add about half quart more, and then we'll check it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we're adding just, we're topping it off with about half more uh, of a quart. Is, we've already put seven in, so this is like seven and a half. You know, should be all set. All right, so there it is. There's the oil change for the Porsche Cayman. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is my first video, first YouTube channel ever. Uh, so the videos probably aren't going to be, uh, you know, 100% perfect. So if you guys have any um, uh, comments, questions, anything like that, make sure to comment down in the comments below. Uh, I'll be reading those. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on any other maintenance videos you want to see on a Porsche Cayman, I know there's not too many out there. So if you uh, have an idea of a video you want to see um, and you want me to make it for you, just uh, comment below or send me uh, you know, a message and I'll, um, I'll try to get those made. But thank you so much for watching uh, and stay tuned for the next videos.